we want to find the function which solves the initial value problem dy dx equals negative two x plus three and y of one equals six. Notice how our derivative function is a function of x, so we're looking for a function y of x such that the derivative of that function is negative two x plus three and y of one equals six. This is actually the simplest type of differential equation that can be solved by separation of variables, which we'll talk about in the next lesson. But for right now, we should recognize that if we want to find a function that has a derivative of negative two x plus three, we should integrate negative two x plus three. Again, if we know that dy dx equals negative two x plus three, we know that to undo the derivative, we would integrate. And to show our work here though, we'll write the differential equation in differential form, so we can think of multiplying both sides of the equation by dx, and we can say that differential y would be equal to negative two x plus three times dx. And now we can integrate both sides of the equation. If it's helpful, we can think of this as the integral of one dy, and then we'll integrate negative two x plus three with respect to x. Well, the antiderivative of one with respect to y would be y plus c, but since we'll have a plus c or a constant on the right as well, we'll just put plus c on the right. So here we have y equals, and then we'll find the antiderivative of negative two x plus three, that would be negative two times x squared divided by two plus three x and then plus c. Let's simplify. Because we have a function of x, let's write this as y of x equals, this would be negative x squared plus three x plus c. Now this is called the general solution, where we have a family of functions that would have a derivative of negative two x plus three. But because we're given y of one equals six, this is an initial value problem, meaning we can find the particular solution or the solution that contains this point here. So we know y of x equals negative x squared plus three x plus c, but we also know y of one equals six, which will allow us to find the value of our constant c. The function value is equal to six when x equals one, which would give us the equation six equals negative and then one squared plus three times one plus c. So we have six equals, this would be negative one plus three plus c, or six equals two plus c. Subtracting two on both sides, we'd have c equals positive four. And therefore, the particular solution, y of x, equals negative x squared plus three x plus four. Again, this is called the particular solution, which is our solution to the initial value problem. Now to check this, we'll go ahead and graph the direction field that corresponds to the differential equation, and then sketch our function over the direction field. So in red, we have the slope through the direction field, where the segments would correspond to the slopes of the tangent lines at those points. Because we know y of one equals six, this would correspond to the point one comma six. So first notice how our particular solution does pass to the point one six. And also notice how it does fit nicely in the direction field, meaning that the slopes of these segments that we see do seem to correspond to the slopes of the tangent lines on our function. I hope you found this helpful.